Am I recording? I'm recording. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is a very unusual video for my channel since... I mean, it's not first time that I'm doing commentary because I already made like two videos, a couple of live streams and like... That's all. Oh yeah, and those PUBG videos that no one gives a fuck about because... It's a dead game, especially now. Uh, but anyways... Uh, I was gonna make this uh, a commentary video because it's really just fucking easier to talk about stuff and rather than fucking write it and it's easier for both you and me and yeah I asked a few days ago if you're if you would be interested in this topic that I'm gonna talk about today and a lot of you were interested so let's give it a shot and uh, first I'm gonna address a few things about the account because that's like the m most frequently asked question on this channel since I came back and uh, no this is not my account I'm, I'm just piloting this guy and uh, yeah I'm basically recording videos every time I need to Every time he's unable to play, I hop in, record an uh, event, finish off some dailies that are left over that he couldn't do, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. As you can see, that guy is a Chroma, he also has a YouTube channel, but he doesn't record often, and <laughs> I'll link it anyway, because all the credits goes to him. And uh, what else is there to say about this guy? Yeah, that's pretty much all. I can show you his stats because, yeah, this is the team I was using yesterday in Sage, and uh, this is his position one. It's no secret anyway because literally anyone can join any of the servers in my cluster and check him out in fucking space time. Just go to here, ranking points, and you can. Wait. You gotta scroll down, I guess, view info, and there you can can literally lurk me, stalk me, whatever. And that's pretty much all about this account, and uh, the main topic of today's video would be my experience as working for Oasis. Yeah. It wasn't really working, it's not a job, but I'll clarify that now, because... Uh, Basically, I would do some little jobs, or I'd, I'd call them little tasks, and I would get paid in-game currency, of course. I wasn't getting paid in real life, and uh, the in-game currency is coupons. It's not even ingots, so yeah. I would Every two weeks, salary comes to mail, and uh, that's how it... How that worked, basically. And uh, why am I making this? Because my experience is very, very interesting. Not mine, everyone's. Every that had like a higher position. GLs maybe not so much because they, they, they are literally nobody. But if they they're in contact, uh, if they're good with someone from the higher-ups, they would know how stuff work in the background of voice staff, I guess, and yeah. Basically, uh, let me just show you like a timeline of my, my positions and jobs, because I, I did several jobs. I started off as a GL in 2017 in January. Or end of 2016, December, I, I don't know. It, it was around New Year anyways. And I was a GL up until I took my first break. That was September the same year. And before that, I, I got like an offer from a friend that quit his position. And he suggested me to take his posi position. That was a... Uh, there was uh, basically a Facebook moderator, I guess. 
because you all know this game has that uh, Facebook page and if you ask questions on that page related to the game you would get an answer and those answers that you get come from people like me well used to but now there's different people that are in charge of that and and yeah you will just get answers from casual players like everyone else we would get a spreadsheet of frequently asked questions and we would either copy them and like paste them and answer the people that ask or we can write our own answers and that's what I used to do well in the beginning I was just copy pasting it and after that I would answer on my own way cuz like not every problem is the same and the answer is not gonna be the same most of the time and I guess let's I'll talk about that cuz that was the position I, I uh, I was working on the most because even though in September when I quit as a jail I still remained to have that position because I knew I was just taking a break and knew if I came back I, I would probably not be able to get back that position you know and so I, it wasn't a big deal I took like a three month break and then I was doing that I was and I'll tell you for how much I was doing and how much I was getting paid later on cuz first I need to talk about GL payments cuz uh, those are the most probably like the that's the position that's accessible to everyone and uh, you would be probably interested in uh, knowing how much are they game pay unless you're a jail yourself or you already know and yeah uh, so back to the Facebook thing uh, as a moderator there or I don't even know how would you call it like so I would just fucking answering questions and I guess customer, customer service I guess I don't, I don't even fucking know that Okay, so uh, whenever I'll talk about specific stuff. Now. Whenever I would not know the answer, I would have to ask the higher ups. And uh, wait for an answer from them. And often, like this is 80% of the time. I ask a question in the group chat that we are uh, we all of our workers are. And they would yes. not ever answer. It. So that person remains unanswered. And I don't give a fuck. My job is like, it's, not my, it's not my duty to worry about if the person was answered or not. But since it makes me feel bad for that guy, I, I just tell him. Literally, I would tell him. Uh, I forwarded the, your report towards the higher ups and will answer whenever I got the info and that info would never come like they don't give a fuck those real employees real workers in the oasis in like Hong Kong or whatever wherever they're based on yeah I think it's Hong Kong and that, that's like pretty much how it all worked, I, I don't know what to say about that job any uh, other than that, because if I remember I'll just just tell you later on throughout the video, but now I'm going to talk about the GL and the most common job in this, uh, in this game, because every server, literally every server is able to have a GL, or like if your server doesn't have a jail, you can go apply and you can work for coupons in game and you would earn uh, every two weeks you would earn a thousand five hundred coupons which is let's be honest in this point at this point of the game when in 5.0 when you 
are able to get so much so much shit for free, those 1.5k are not gonna they're they'll help, don't get me wrong, but they're not gonna make you competitive if you are free to play. But there will have there will be some some nice addition and considering how much work you have to do that it's literally free coupons. And we'll get on to that later. Uh when I talk about the fucking uh what the actual job is and yeah I was I was doing that the first period was from January to September 2017 after that after a break I came back and somebody else took took my position and was uh, it was a friend of mine uh, like I told him it's free you can take it and he took it and then he was working for that until April when he quit I decided to go fuck it why not free coupons and in April this year I was jailed until June no until July yeah April to July so how much months that's first period nine months and second period three months it's not much but considering like there's some people that were there since the game opened two two in a two years ago and like a few months but anyway uh the point is, I have a lot of experience doing that, and in the when I first got the job, I took it really seriously because this is the first time I ever done this. Like, I I'm not like a fucking experienced guy. I'm I was 17 at the time. I'm now 18. So in case you wondered, I was and I I first ever working kind of experience. It wasn't even working when I realized later on, but it doesn't matter. And uh, first few, I was figuring out first few weeks, and it wasn't the best. I, you would have to like this is this is your job as a GL. Every Saturday, deliver your report to your manager, and that's all. That's your work. You have to write those reports. Like you get a format to write it. It's basically giving a feedback about about the events and yeah that's all events or new features or like this stupid purchase limit that no one ever looks at almost and that's pretty much it now what's interesting about this and when I say it I really like I I know for a fact there's like if there's someone who who wants to argue against my opinion sure come on like your reports that you write it's supposed to be a feedback and uh, based on that feedback uh, the next week or the next time that a specific event comes they would they would try to improve it but no that's not a case I'm positive that no one like I don't remember once and if it happened once I will remember that time that my feedback was or anyone else's like was taken into consideration do you know that's do you know why is that that's because we deliver it to the uh, to the manager GL manager and he has like a meeting every week I think it's Sunday or Monday I'm not sure it doesn't matter it's basically it's after we deliver the report since you know Thursday new events Saturday Thursday to Saturday we, we write the report Saturday night we forward it and then later on uh, the next day or the two days after managers from every region have a meeting with uh, the higher ups that give a final decision of making the of basically deciding which events are going to be ne the next week I'm pretty sure that's how it works now I'm not just sure who of the higher ups is directly in charge and who is the one that gives the final decision but I have some info that might be close to that 
but yeah so basically you write reports they never read it like managers do read it maybe maybe I really doubt it like there's there's a hundred and I don't know hundred and something GLs in UK alone and managers and assistant there's one manager one assistant they would have to read all of those and and when and one report in UK at least I'll talk about different regions later on. What put in UK has like it's like basically a PDF format, and you would write like five minimum pages. Cause like even if you tried less, like I was writing at least as I could. And I was just caring about the fucking coop. I don't give a fuck about the game, you know. Well, I do. I want the events to improve, and I would always give my feedback based on like. Well, I'm supposed to give the feedback of the players, but I wouldn't do that, because I don't give a fuck. I just write it from my head. And when someone from the higher-ups asks, like, oh, I would pretend that I asked people, but I, I re like, I'm being honest, like, and I know, like, I'm not gonna call out other gels for doing that, because I'm not gonna be that guy, but... Yeah, I admit it, because now I don't care, I don't even play this game. Well, I I play it to record for you guys and YouTube, but I don't play it because, you know, my account is fucking shit. It's basically free to play other than those coupons I was getting in. Yeah, you you can see that even that was nowhere near any helpful. Granted, I haven't played. I took that three month break and I haven't been playing since July this year. So. Yeah, that's that. And what was I? I'm getting sidetracked now. Uh, I was talking about the fucking um, GLs, yeah. And let's talk about the manager sister and the higher ups relation. So, managers. I will have to uh, mention other regions this time. Managers and assistant, I believe, are. The ones who decide how that format is, and since there's different managers for each region, the formats are different, which is, in my opinion, so retarded. Like, we're playing the same game, same version, and the same everything. And I'm pissed because I'm from UK, and we, I, I can confirm that. I've seen other reports from other regions, I can confirm that, that the UK requires, or the managers require, or, uh, like, well, I can't blame the manager because they are changing every now and then, and, uh... The UK requires the most out of any other re Like, other regions are just laughable when you see their reports. They are, like, two pages. And we have to write, like, ten, on average. Ten pages of PDF. Full. Free-to-play feedback, low-spender feedback, and top spanner feedback and then under that we would have to write another feedback from top spenders with I don't even know what is it for like am I gonna just copy from the above set like I worked how many months is that like for a year in total or even more and I still till this day I don't even know what is that thing under that and I, yeah I'm not gonna say anything. Other, I don't have examples to show you here about others, uh, other regions, but I've seen it, and you can ask anyone else, it's nowhere fucking near this detailed as UK. And, uh, yeah. That's when it comes to that, and, uh, what I was, I was gonna mention one more thing about, uh, the... I was gonna mention one more thing about the managers and like GL teams of each region because uh, is the thing and this is like this is I guess it's just my opinion but it's very I'm, I'll t I, I can I'm confident that it's fucking uh, accurate because I've been there. I've 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 been in. I'm in a good relations with higher ups, or let's say 
I'm not gonna mention any names, but yeah, in higher than my position that I used to have, and I know that uh, some of the managers of other regions, since the managers, the ones talking to the higher ups in that meeting, they solely uh, give their feedback to the higher ups, and then they discuss it, and I'll talk about that later. And supposedly, managers or photo readers are how how can I describe them? Uh, I know that UK manager is great, or gr was great when I was working. That's for sure. I don't know now, and uh, they would really try to fucking. Uh, they would really try to improve the game with their feedback, but. Supposedly others from other regions, not all of the regions, because I think, I'm not sure which, I think New York has, I'm not sure, I, I can't, no, I, I, I'll take you, don't listen to me, it's just, UK has a great manager, others don't, others are shitty, since they, why are they shitty, because they provide shitty feedback, that doesn't make sense, they don't even play the game, they don't even fuck you know what's going around. They just, I don't, I don't even know what logic they are using, but uh, I remember, I don't remember specifically which, which feedback was that they reported to be, like, autistic. I don't even know how to describe that. Like, it wouldn't, I, I, I let's take an example. It's like, let's say, call it for uh, platinum research. We have Sasuke, we report that, like, uh, let's say you can report, uh, the price is relatively okay for the first release, but players would hope to see a lower pr price in the future, near or far future, well, not far so far, but like a month or two, and let's say that's that would be it and then there would come someone from uh, Hong Kong region or I don't know LA New York and they would say uh, we don't want the Runiga Sasuke we want Gara for because most of the free to plays need to increase Gara to five stars and we would like to it would make uh, free to plays recharge for the first time for that fucking Gara and, you know, you get my point, they're just retarded, those those managers are retarded, and if their feedback affects the game, which it could, because cause, uh, they are the majority, and other than those, uh, other than those uh, managers, I think other mods from forum participate in that meeting as well, so like, there's like two of the normal participants and that provide really good feedback for the and then there's like eight of those that uh, they would provide gara type of platinum recharge feedback you know and that's pretty much it about gls uh, i'm not sure if there's anything else to say about that the point is your feedback don't matter shit you get paid low as fuck pennies for the work you you are supposed to do but let's say um, you you don't even have to do so like I I can't talk shit cuz I wasn't doing shit I was just I would write that report in one hour and for one hour I would get for two hours cuz it's two weeks I would get 1.5k coupons look sure I'm down free coupons and obviously the tryhards would try to actually write the proper feedback and they would usually get the uh, Gel of the month, which is bonus of coupons. I I think it's the 1.5k or or 700 coupons. It's still bizarre, so I never went for that because it does. It's not worth it. And uh, yeah, that's GL. That's my Facebook job, and I worked as a ambassador. I don't even know if that position is even present anymore because ambassadors would have to go to other servers create new accounts and name them their their cells as ambassadors and they would have to go 
to the fucking uh, to to PM people, level up and PM people in game, and then ask for feedback about the server. Does it need a merge? Does it how it feels if it got the merge? How it feels after the merge? Stuff like that. That that job didn't make sense anyways, so that was pointless. It was just free coupons, but it, uh, for the work you had to do, uh, it wasn't really free. You would have to fucking work like a maniac for some it's like 500 coupons per server and you would spend like six hours on the server talking about players and then provide the feedback and then the, if the manager of the of the ambassador is retarded he would uh, he would say he would rate your feedback and if it's bad you will get paid less that's pretty much it Okay, so I forgot to mention the forgot to mention the payments about my Facebook job. So and I'll now mention basically all the payments and compare for how much or how much you get. So GL 1.5k every two weeks. Uh, my Facebook mod job. Well, here here's the thing about that. Uh, my Facebook job, I was paying, I was getting pay, paid initially uh, 6k coupons per two weeks, so that's like how much, eight times more? I, I don't know, maths. So it was 6k initially, and then, well, I didn't get increased just like that. I, I actually asked my, my Facebook manager. Uh, if there's any extra jobs to do so I can so I can do them and get paid more and and they said well yeah you can you can answer comments on Facebook since I was initially answering messages in inbox now they gave me to answer comments as well and that's literally no job at all and I will get extra 2k coupons for that and uh, yeah that's the Facebook shop. What else is there? Uh, there's managers of jails. They get paid. They usually have extra positions like forum moderators. For, so they get paid for the forum. For being forum moderators. They get paid. I think also 6k. Around that. Like it's maybe 4.5k I'm not sure 5.5k or something like it it's 5 to 6k anyways for that and then since they are mo uh, managers they ha their job is to other than manage GLs is also to hire new ones and they would get paid per new hire I think 1k yeah 1k coupons per new GL and you have a limit of hiring six chills in two weeks I think three per week yeah three per week so we get 6k every two weeks uh, for that as well so that's like 12k I guess in total for being a manager 12k coupons now I'm gonna tell you about assistants assistants get paid per GL that's already our GL like let's say example UK uh, assistants have 100 coupons per GL and there's 100 and something and there's 100 and I don't know like 10 UK GLs so that's 11k coupons Per two weeks, but that's not it. Uh, they also usually come with the position on forum. They would be assistants to the managers, so they would get paid like 4.5k, 5k, 5.5k. I'm not sure. I don't remember those numbers like specifically. So that's extra let's say 5k so you have assistants that get 16,000 coupons every few weeks 32,000 coupons a month 
from being just assistant. Their job, their job is to hold meetings of GLs, discuss the events, which is no work at all. You just talk about events out of your head and other than that they would have to like um, I read reports I think read them and that's pretty much all and if they read them they're really idiots because I mean I'm sure they do because they put a rating after every Saturday so Sunday the next day they would give the rating for every NHGLs and it's pretty much it and uh, what else is there uh, ambassadors I don't I never heard about that position in over a year they would get 500 per server you would have to work how much five hours per server so that's really low but if you have nothing to do and you have a lot of spare time, you, you can just fucking go for it. But I have no idea how would get, how you would get hired. But sure. What else is there? There's PG player guide. Their job is to go on new servers and teach players how to play. What? Are you kidding me? I, I'm not sure if that exists anymore. Maybe it doesn't. But it used to get. Uh, you would used to uh, get paid like. Uh, Still around the same like 5k coupons for being a PG. Uh, what, el what else is there? Jail, managers, assistants, uh, Facebook I mentioned and there's people that answer, answer tickets on the actual website. Support, the support team. It's also normal people. Uh, but I think they do it together with the uh, higher ups, so like you would get better answer when submitting a ticket, I suppose. And they would, those people, the casual players, would get paid how much? I don't even know. I think it's still around the save, four to six key coupons. And uh, I don't know any other positions like. Oh yeah. I was gonna talk about uh, specifically super moderator. That's the person that uh, I'm positive works for Oasis in like it's a in real life. He gets paid in real life currency and also besides that in in-game currency. So. And he, they are supposed to be the direct connection between the players and the Oasis team. So, super moderator that is. And Oasis team would listen to the super moderator and they think uh, that everything he says, well, they say, because I don't want to judge by gender. Uh, us. <laughs> so, Oasis team would listen to the super moderator and believe him uh, everything they say and uh, they would based on that feedback do their job about events updates and stuff like that so yeah you all know who am I talking about and if there's something wrong with the game you should just go to that person or you don't have to go, you should just know that it's solely that person's fault of game being how it is, like of the state of the current events and uh, I'm not sure if they're uh, able to influence uh, the updates of new functions anymore I'm certain it used to they used to have the influence because there was a large, large period where, where we wouldn't get shit no functions for functions for months and months and yeah now it uh, seemed to get back on normal 
And if some people think it, we're getting too fast, and that's because we didn't get shit for months, and now we have to catch up, and yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, and uh, I don't know what to say anymore about this topic. I probably missed a lot of shit, but this video is 30 minutes. If you were able to watch this for 30 minutes, fuck yeah. If no, fuck yeah. There's 2.2x speed, so you can fast forward it. Double shrink the time, I don't fucking know, I don't know.